I don't think this is too good of a look for me. Ew! What boy? Holy hell. Oh wow, that's much better. Okay, I didn't turn the cameras on to make an ASMR shaving video. I turned them on so I can fix this. This is my laptop from college. This is a 2018 razor blade 15 inch. Now, it's not completely broken, but it has an issue that does make it pretty close to unusable. So I'll show you what I mean right here. Now, basically all computers come installed with a solid state drive these days. This computer is no exception. This came with a M.2 SSD that had Windows on it. So the issue that makes this laptop basically unusable is that the M.2 SSD slot on the main board is most likely dead. So because this has two drives, this has a solid state drive that reads really fast that you have Windows installed on, and it has a slower hard drive for storing larger files. I look at that, almost a minute, still not into Windows yet, but we're almost there. 12 seconds later. And look at that, slightly over a minute and we're in a Windows. And now you get to see how nice and slow it is to use a Windows 11 laptop without a solid state drive. Few inches later. All right, so here's the part that I want to show you. This took about two minutes and 30 seconds just to get into Windows, open up Task Manager, and get to the Performance tab where you can see that Windows is installed on a hard drive and it's running at full speed and is incredibly slow and difficult to use. So let's try and open it up and fix that. So first thing you want to do, obviously, is to shut it down. We don't want to open this up with the power still on. Let's start tearing into it. Now, inside you can see that it doesn't have an SSD installed. That's because when I found out it wasn't working, I took it out, tried replacing it, but ultimately I just left it without an SSD. So here's the new SSD that is going into the laptop. Now before I put this in, I'm just gonna take the battery cable here. I'm just gonna slide it out, just so we're absolutely sure that there is no power to this board and we're not gonna short anything when we plug it in. And now I just gotta remember to plug the battery back in. For now, I'll just pop the cover back on without the screws, because I have a feeling that this won't be the fix that we're looking for. He's right, you know. Now here, I have a flash drive ready to go with a fresh copy of Windows 11 to power it on. I believe it's mash the F12 key. Get into the boot menu. Yep, F12. And then we'll go to our USB, which is the SAN disk over here. I cannot believe it. Maybe we will have Windows installed on that SSD. I was right after all because after installing a couple Windows updates on this, we're now getting lots and lots of blue screens. So I was right, there is an issue. Can't be the SSD, this is the second SSD that I've tried with this machine. So there has to be an issue deeper somewhere in the main board. Now, one of the pros to having a replacement main board ready to go, is that I can just look and see all the different screw holes that it has, and it makes my life easier getting all of this out but I'm still gonna need to be careful. I don't want to damage any of these fans, cooling pipes, and other surrounding electronics because I only have a replacement board. I don't have the rest. These wires are so small. If I'm not careful, I could very easily break that. Big part of the process is done, getting off a cooling solution. So while we're in here, we could really clean up a lot of this to help. And then this thermal paste has to get replaced. So after about 40, 45 minutes, I have the original main board out. The other thing I will have to do is clean up this old thermal paste. The new board came with no thermal paste on it. So I'll have to add my own. So to clean it off here, I have 91% isopropyl alcohol. This should be fine. And a couple of Q-tips. With this guy, we just need to put a little pea-sized blob on each of the processors. 
One hour later. One last thing I want to do before I install the fans is I want to clean them. These fans are looking pretty dusty too. This is a great opportunity to go and just blow them out with some air. Is it spinning? Oh, yeah, that's pretty nasty. Two hours later. Last but not least, the battery gets hooked up. Toss this cover on and we'll see if it works. And I'll have to see long term if this actually solves the issue I've been having with blue screens and issues with the SSD, but I think it will. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. All right, all looks good so far, but I was able to do this on the last main board. So no, it only picks up the hard drive. So this SSD right here off of Amazon ended up being the problem. I don't know if it was defective or if it was because I put it in the old main board and that had some sort of issue with it that caused this to now be defective. But whatever the case is, I was able to get a new new SSD and put it in the laptop. And now I'm able to install Windows 11 to it and use it like it's brand new. So how much in total did it cost me to fully fix this laptop? I'll break down the price for you. The main board I got secondhand off of eBay. This retailed for $165. And then the second SSD that I put in was about $50. So in total, just a little bit over $200 to fix this older gaming laptop. I don't think that's too bad of a deal. So I guess I don't have too much of a nice conclusion to this video. Uh, I did think that this laptop was going to be e-waste and I'm pretty happy I was able to fix it. For a relatively cheap, especially compared to a, a newer gaming laptop that would be in the $2,000 range, I spent a tenth of that getting this fixed and running again. But hey, this laptop's still good enough to run TF2, so that's all I'm happy about. So that's all I got for this video. I don't really know what this is about, so thanks for watching. I'll see ya.